Bag drags, make sure they had all their equipment, and began training the next day. Training consisted of all the different parts of the job that we could end up doing, from dismounting where we're walking, to land navigation, getting into Humvees, driving around and patrols in the Humvees. Ooh, yeah, boys. Game on. When we're driving for Humvees, you have the, the trucks are spread out. Uh, good distance apart from each other to prevent. If an IED blast does go off, it doesn't take out more than one truck. If you see something, let us know, bro. When they're going through, they're going slow, they're looking for IEDs. Any enemy contact, they engage the contact as necessary to go from there. any kind of contact happens, um, you, you get the GPS coordinates of the exact location where it happened, so we can pass it back to our intel, and so that the, the, the commander can make a decision on what to do with that route. Whether they want to shut the route down completely because there's so much contact, or if it's one of those that they be advised if you go through there, there's a good chance you're going to take any contact. We did a uh, this time patrol uh, from Bob Creek Defender. Uh, once we patrolled up, we had taken uh, enemy contact uh, about 200 meters off outside the fog. Uh, while we were patrolling, we were going up the hill. We got hit with some indirect fire, some mortars, uh, some small arms fire from hostiles, and uh, basically we were going up the hills. It was pretty muddy, if you could tell. back to the fob because we had an individual who had to be tourniqueted on the arm. I gotta look out for the man beside me and same as for him with me, you know, trying to get everybody home to see their families, so, you know, another day. I feel ready. I feel like the training's good. They teach us well here. They teach us all the basics and things that we need to know when we do go downrange. Because um, you never know. You never know when you go outside the wire what's gonna happen. So I feel like we learned some great things there. I believe that being uh, A1C is being young airmen, most of not deployed. 
once they leave, you can tell that they've had that much more experience. Most of the training that they had was from tech school, which is just the very, very basics. We try to take it up a notch. Uh, and with having the best cadre in the Air Force, uh, you can't uh, 